Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Message number 11. From the place, the island nation of Iceland. The tour started many days ago, and the beauty was obvious. The earth spoke. The guardians of the rocks and the canyons moved away, allowing for the channeling to occur. It's an odd thing to say, but this land would understand. For as I told you earlier, this land has multidimensional aspects that allow it to speak. And so often those speakings manifest themselves as entities, as they do in so many other lands. It's the only thing that makes sense to a human. When it feels a personality and knows consciousness, it has to then somehow put a form to it. Those who would laugh at this, I will tell you, you've done this, humans, forever. In your spiritualness, when an angel came to you, or what you thought an angel came to you, you had no concept of what it might be. It's a multidimensional essence that moves through walls and frightens you even. We've said this before, every angel that has come and had things to say, the first thing it said was, fear not, fear not. Why would a beautiful, absolutely stellar consciousness be something to fear? And the answer is because it looks different and it is different. You put skin and wings on them to make them palpable. And this is what societies do to all of the elementals that they, that they can't understand, but they must have a shape. And in some places and in some countries, it's so beautiful that it sustains itself century after century after century. And that is what has happened here. And so those on the tour got a chance to see it and feel it. And if they wish to, they could understand it. There's always the free choice to believe it or not believe it. But that is what this group got. The earth spoke to them in many places and in many ways. The elementals include all the water, even that among the ice. And so we congratulate those who are, are guardians and stewards of your land. There is no accident that the Icelander is here. None at all. Some would say, well, in a nation that has such few people, what can they do that would change the planet? And the answer is the same as I have given so many times to other societies. But this one, you're an island. This one, I would say to you, keep it pristine. Watch very carefully for those who would take it away from you. Keep that which is your tradition, even though those would all roll their eyes and say, well, we don't believe in those things today because it's a modern day. And I'll tell you that the elements of the earth are very modern. They've been here forever and they will be here until the earth goes away. That's how modern they're always in the now and they will always have names. And if you listen, they'll always speak to you. And right now they're saying, keep it pristine. Keep it pristine. This is the last channeling in this great land. And in this room, I spoke of the virus which continues to move around the planet. Now you can go back and listen to message number one, for I'm not going to review it all that much. But there are those now, as it grows and grows, who are saying things like, Cryon, why is this happening to a planet that is supposed to go into a, an area of higher consciousness? How could this be? And then I will say, have you really been listening to the channelings? Have you really been reading the messages? 
two steps forward, one step back. You are currently in the step back. What did you think it would look like? Did you think it would simply be a walk in the park, as they say, where an entire planet changes consciousness? And the answer is that you did not bring this as a punishment. And there are so many who go right to that place. And they will think that because of the, the doctrines they have studied and, and the, all of the scriptures they have read, that God is a punishing God. And therefore, you must have done something horrible. What if this was a cleansing? What if this was a wild card? What if, when the dust clears, this planet will be different? What if it changes the geopolitical structure it changes what people think because they'll know a grander truth when it's over that they did not know before it began. And this was the hint I gave you before. The things to look at, and I'll say it again, diseases are not political. They do what they do. Watch. Examine. Review. See where it came from and where it went to first, and it tells a story. It tells a bigger story that you're not going to like later. But for now, there are many who are saying goodbye to their elders. For now, there is great sorrow. For now, there is fear. Mentioned so many times by so many channelers, the pandemic is not of a disease, it's a fear. And the fear spreads that it would touch you and in certain ways, even though the vast, vast majority will recover completely and totally in a small amount of time, it still will take you and make you afraid. And so the question is this, not why it's here, not what to do about getting rid of it, because it will pass. It will pass. The question really is this, what are you supposed to do, light worker, right now? What is the task of the light worker? There are many things I could say right now, some of which make sense to you and some don't. Carney didn't tell us this was coming. Dear ones, what happens here is with free choice. It's in the field. It's not guaranteed. It's not 100%. And you had control over whether it was going to happen or not. And you will see that later. And there are those who actually tried to stop it. And you'll see that later. And it's here anyway. If I had given you the potential, what would it have achieved? And the answer is fear. The predictions that I give to you are the ones that I see manifested from a maturing society, a transparency of compassion, a better planet, two steps forward, one step back. What are you supposed to do, light worker? I'll tell you right now. Listen, this is why you're here. Number one, stay safe. Stay safe. Because you are not going to be able to achieve much in sickness. Stay safe. It's not that hard. Stay safe. And as this plays out, be aware of those around you who are wringing their hands and shortening their lifespan because of the fear they're in, not knowing what to do next and turning from place to place and pacing up and down and wondering what's happening to them and their family and this planet or this country. That's where you step in and you soothe them and give them compassion and tell them stories if you need to. Comfort them, be with them, sit with them. So they can see you're not afraid, but you're safe. That you're using common sense in all things and staying safe. And knowing that this is a passing thing and not forever. And that whatever happens today, they'll come out of it tomorrow. <clears throat> this is what light workers do. This is the lighthouse on the rock. And I said before, no one knows the name of the lighthouse, and yet it saves so many navigators and sailors and nauticals. And they see the light and they go around, and they know that where there's light, there's safety. You're a lighthouse. 
And this is what we will say when asked in these next months over and over. And any questions and answers, these are the answers. And these will continue to be the answers. No matter what the questions are, including why me. And the answer is, if you're a light worker, I just told you why you. So that you can change it, so you can temper it, so you can save lives by comforting them. Because there is so much fear here. I'll tell you what this planet is learning right now. They're learning a lot about the media and its part. They're learning how a media can make it worse. They're learning how a media can take lives by frightening people to death. That's what they're learning. You'll come from this a better place. Journalists, review what has happened. And think upon these things and your profession to inform. And ask yourselves, what have you done that is good for the planet today? And if this were to occur a month, two months, three months, one year, in the future, what would you do differently? And you will get answers. It's starting to reveal a more compassionate planet. Listen, there are those who are worried there will be amazing things, especially in certain countries where they'll, they'll gather their guns and they'll, they'll put together a, a, a place and hold their position because they expect that the, the public is going to attack for food. <laughs> what if I told you the opposite? What if this is becoming a kinder, compassionate planet right now where neighbors are helping neighbors and people are greeting each other at a one meter distance? <laughs> different from any time in the planet's history, looking at one another and saying, we're going to make it through this. We love you. We're going to be okay. We love you. If you need help, let us know. We'll do our best under the circumstances. And there's very few that say, well, where's my gun? Not today. Not today. This is one of the biggest differences when the historians write what happened to this planet, it will be books filled with what they didn't expect as well as what really might have happened on this planet. This is a message of compassion. This is a message that says, light workers, you trained for it, it's here. Get through this and you move forward with a different planet, with a different consciousness. People are going into self-introspection right now and saying, could it be there's something bigger that I missed? Could it be that consciousness is starting to change? And maybe this was all part of that. Dear ones, you're going to get through this. This is just the peak of it, starting now, you're going to get through this. Stay safe. Be circumspect. Don't hide out any more than you have to. When you're allowed out, you help people. If you meet them in the store, you help them. If they look like they are in trouble, you can speak to them. You don't have to touch them yet. <laughs> you can speak to them. Are you okay? Talk to me. What are you worried about? Think about these things, dear ones, because you carry a light of comfort. That is your lineage. It's why you're here. It's why you're interested enough to listen to this message or be in this room. That's the truth of the day. I'll have more to say later. But dear ones, this is starting to be a more compassionate planet, and it starts today. Know these things. Go from this place differently than you came with perspectives that might be very different than you ever expected. There's going to be no more normal on this planet, as I told you many times. And so it is.